previous episodes, I introduced this 2001 911 Turbo, and it needs a lot of work. I've already taken care of a lot of the issues on this thing. One of the major issues is a pretty massive oil leak. <laughs> that is 100% fresh. Unknown where it's coming from. Just, uh, yeah, not great. And aside from all the cosmetic issues and the fact that it needs tires, the big oil leak is one of the major mechanical problems I have to fix. So I'm gonna dive into that today, see if I can figure out what the issue is, and depending how bad it is, maybe work on some other issues. A lot of mechanical things need fixed on this old clapped out Porsche. And yes, this hideous front bumper has to go. Still haven't located one yet though. When I had it up in the air last time, I soaked the complete underside with brake cleaner, hoping it would be something easy and easy to access under there, but that doesn't appear to be where the leak's coming from. It seems to be coming either from the top of the engine or the front of the engine on the side of the rear bumper. So I'm going to start taking things off the top of the engine, getting a better look in there and seeing what's leaking. I don't know if it's something easy like a PCV hose or an oil filter housing. Hopefully that's the case. Not a good start. I can see a bunch of oil in the front of the engine. Look at all of that. There's a lot of oil up there. It's kind of covered on the alternator and wherever else. All right, I'll keep diving into this, see what we can find. Initials of thoughts, I am covered in oil already, and all I did was pull the intake manifold off. So I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like whatever it is is leaking in the front, and I'm guessing the pulleys are fleeing the oil everywhere. All right, guys, this is what we got. There is a lot of oil all around here. Doesn't look like it's coming down from the oil filter housing that looks clean and dry other than water. Everything up top looks dry, so it's gotta be something down here, which is probably front main seal, and it's getting flung everywhere. That's my guess. Well, I believe the next step to proceed forward, I'm just going to actually just pull the rear bumper, probably lift the car up, get it on jack stands, just to try to confirm where the oil is leaking from. I don't see anything unusual on either side. Everything looks pretty stock in there. I've actually, I never took the wheels off, which I know I should have, but rotors don't look the best, but there's plenty of pad life on the calipers for sure. I'll clean them up while I'm in here. Now it's just time to pull this bumper off. Yeah, that's an interesting place for that. I think I gotta take basically all the stuff off and I think lower the engine some too. You got all that crap out of the way and have pretty good access to the crank, as you can see. I'm not sure what to make of this. There's just oil everywhere. Looks 
like I'll probably be replacing this while I'm in there because it looks a little old. Not torn or anything, but just looks old. What a mess. There's just there's crap everywhere down here, guys. So I'm going to pull it off the crank pulley, see what it looks like behind there. But this looks like a mess here as well. Your guess is as good as mine. Not sure how I'm going to get that off there. Oh, yeah, it's moving. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes, I'm gonna replace this. All right, Mr. Crank Seal. I don't see anything obvious, but there's definitely oil sitting at the bottom there. So this has gotta be where a lot of it's coming from. That's my hope, at least. Let me see if I can get this out with a couple of, uh, couple of screws. Well, I don't know if that was the problem or not. I assume it was. Either way, gonna replace this, obviously. I have to start ordering a lot of parts. Crank bolt, crank pulley, crank seal. I uh, still gotta get the cabin filter. A whole bunch of stuff, but good progress. I'm gonna clean up these tools. in the rear I might as well keep pressure washing stuff get the rear fender wells and calipers all cleaned up because those calipers are just caked in grime and grease and brake dust and they look awful I want to bring back the yellow color make a pop again clean out everything under there and now's a great time to do so
The rain delayed me a little bit, but I got the GT2 badge off, came off real clean. You can tell just that little bit of compound that I did in that small spot brought the shine out a lot in the yellow. So I think the paint on this is gonna come out really nice when I finally get around to polishing it and buffing it. I'll probably get a turbo badge and put on there just cause that's what the car is or I'll just, what do you guys think? Should I just leave it off? Rear calipers I got cleaned up pretty nice. I could do some detail work with a smaller brush, but for now it's much, much better than what it was. Those things were caked and now they're nice and bright and yellow and the fender wells are cleaned up a little nicer as well. And while I was out here working on it, I got that stupid GPS, I assume suction cup thing off the windshield. Didn't break the windshield, thankfully popped right off. Not a big deal. Now you can tell comparing the front calipers to the rear, just how much dirtier the front are. I'll get to them when I do some work in the front end or swap wheels and tires or whatever. Speaking of tires, some of them are ride. I'll give you a little sneak peek here. Gonna have some new wheels for it with the tires. I wasn't planning on doing it this soon, but the fact that the tires on the rear are completely bald, I have to do it. Also in the midst of this, I helped a couple buddies with their vehicles, put a leveling kit on my one buddy's Sierra. That went pretty easily and smoothly. And then we were working on putting a new charge pipe and spark plugs in my other buddy's 335i. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have all the right parts. So we'll have to do that another time, but it's, it's been a busy, hot day here in the garage. Now, uh, since I got all the stuff cleaned up, let's go inside and order some parts. Bad news about the parts, not all of them were in stock, so it could take actually a few weeks for them to arrive. So I got the serpentine belt. I got actually a GT2 pulley because I didn't realize how expensive the pulleys were. I found one used I'm gonna because I botched mine up pretty good. Got the new crank seal. Got the cabin air filter that I've been needing. Got some stuff for an oil change. Good bit of miscellaneous stuff. So all the stuff that's needed to get this car back in shape. But unfortunately, it's not gonna show up for a while, so that's gonna end it for this video. The next video, I get the crank seal and everything put back in place. Wish me luck that that fixes the problem.